I have an interesting camera to begin using today. It is the Sigma FP. Sigma sent a generous kit for me to try for a few weeks. This is going to be my first time out with it. And in this video, I will share with you a little bit about the camera and the lenses that I have, including the new 100 to 400 millimeter F5 to 6.3 DG DNOS contemporary lens. And I'll share a few photos that I am about to capture. Really quickly, members, make sure that you check out Member Monday this week. I answer a member's question on where I think Nikon and the other camera companies are headed. If you're not a member, but you are interested in finding out more like about the member exclusive videos like the one today, long form courses and members special priority email address so that I can answer their questions quickly. Check out the link in the description to learn more about channel membership. The Sigma FP is a 24.6 megapixel, super compact and lightweight full frame body with an L mount. Hello Leica lenses and Sigma art lenses and a bunch of other lenses because of the L mount alliance. Sigma sent me four lenses to use with this. The 45 millimeter f2.8 DGDN, which you can purchase in a kit with the FP. The 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8 DGDN art lens and the 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 DGDN art lens. I've used both of those for E-mount and I was incredibly impressed with them. I will link to reviews of those in the description. And the 100 to 400 millimeter lens that I mentioned. This is a new lens and Sigma also sent two teleconverters that were launched at the same time for L-mount, the 1.4X and the 2X. I have a whole slew of accessories too. I'm definitely going to have some fun with this stuff. As of last year, when it was introduced, this was the smallest and lightest full frame digital camera. And it seems to be very capable in terms of still images, but it also seems to be designed with video in mind. 4K 30 frames per second, face and eye detect. It has DCI 4K 12 bit raw output via HDMI and raw recording over HDMI with the Atomos Ninja 5. That was just recently added via a free firmware update. The camera is really meant to be scalable like that. You can see on the body that it is almost modular. There's multiple screw mounts. You can add or not add different accessories and even things like eyelets to attach to a neck or wrist strap, or you can leave them off entirely. I'll definitely be putting the FP through its paces for both still photography and video. I will be creating review videos for the FP and the 100 to 400 millimeter lens. And like I said, I already have reviews for the zooms, though I used them on the Sony E-mount. For now though, what do you want to see from this camera? What do you want to learn? And what about the 100 to 400 millimeter lens? I'm always ready to come up with some fun activities to do with the new camera, but I'm also game to hear your ideas. So what questions do you have for me? And are there any situations that you'd like to see me put this camera in? I've added some links for you in the description of this video to my gear reviews playlist so that you can see my reviews of a few other Sigma lenses and many other brands of gear to Member Monday and how you can learn more about channel membership and also to all of this gear that I have so that you can learn more about it if you're impatient for the review. Those are Amazon affiliate links. So anytime that you use those links to get to Amazon and then purchase anything while you're there, I get a small portion of your purchase and it helps keep the channel up and running. So thank you to those of you that use those links. And as you are scrolling down to the comments section to ask me your questions about this gear, make sure that you subscribe because I have even more gear reviews coming and a few technique videos in the works and give this video a like. All right, I am going to head out to take those photos that you just saw in this video and thank you for watching.